The NMI judiciary has seen success with its drug court program. In 2021, the NMI Supreme Court created the Mental Health Court Docket Program. The goal of the treatment courts is to address community needs through the justice system. They felt that uh, the need for mental health court was urgent. Um, uh, and I guess at that time, I, I wasn't really sure how urgent it was. Now that the court is up and running, I do see that it was, it was needed, it is needed. It's a meticulous process for a case to reach the mental health court bench. When a person commits a crime and their defense counsel learns of a serious mental health related issue, their case can be referred to the NMI Attorney General, who would determine if they're legally qualified. And if they are, the case moves to the mental health court, where a clinician, usually from the Community Guidance Center, does an assessment. Information from both the AG and clinician is passed on to the judge. And if, if um, the judge agrees and says, yes, this person is a good fit for mental health uh, court, then they're accepted. And then they, you know, they do a change of plea, but the plea is held in advance, so it, they're, they're not sentenced, um, and they go through the program. And if they graduate, then the um, case is dismissed. Charges are ripped up, basically, and um, you know they get to continue uh, in society without being imprisoned and without a record. Since the inception, we have five participants. The program is um, has two different tracks, where track one is for part uh, participants who has. Um, dual co-occurring mental health and co-occurring substance use and track two is focused on less in, uh, supervision which is only entailing for participants who have uh, mental health not drug use and um, so for track one which has particip participants with both substance and mental health is it could it's well there's different um, phases it has five different phases and the overall would be 20, uh, 28 months. However, mental health court, and just like drug court, right, it's really one face does not fit all. It's a multi-agency effort involving various community partners. So it's really, although there's structure, it's really a case-by-case -case, um, situation based on the, the entire team's effort. And when I say the team, it's not only the court staff, which entails the mental health manager, the clinical liaison, the two case managers and two officers, um, and the judge, but also the pr uh, prosecutor, the defense counsel, the clinicians, big part of our team, and also the DPS officer and the, and the DOC representatives. The treatment court is providing a new perspective on the justice system and its relationship to the community. I tell the team, we need to shift our focus from trying to keep them away from alcohol and meth and, you know, uh, and just be completely sober. The wins that we get when they don't get arrested anymore, that's a win. When they take their medication, that's a win. When they show up to court, that's a win, okay? Uh, when they come for drug testing, when they, whatever it is that they're told to do, when they do those things, even little things, that's a win. The court acknowledges just how delicate the process is and how much time can go into recovery. This is going to be a marathon. This is, it, we cannot expect to see result next year or the year after. This is going to be, uh, the mental health court needs to be measured in a different standard and different way. It can't be just about numbers. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.